I find Princess Shireen as the most iconic girl member of the House Baratheon. Too bad that she died because her ambitious parents let her be burned alive. So part of this look is inspired by Shireen Baratheon and if you want to know how I created this look, then continue watching. So I'm already done with my skincare and I'm starting with a clean face and I have here my glue stick and spatula and I'm just going to get a little of the glue stick and apply it on the other half of my face. This is going to be the area where we'll put the gray scale. So this is going to be our base. And then once everything is dry, you can feel like this is kind of stiff and it will look like scale. And then now I'm going on with my foundation and my sponge. I'm going to apply it first on the other side of my face where I didn't put glue. So I'm just kind of lightly dabbing everything on the other side until it's smooth. I can also set it with powder after. So once I'm done with the other half, I will now go with the part where I put glue by lightly dabbing the foundation to kind of mix the glue and foundation together and then set it also with powder. Then you see a gray eyeshadow, I'm lightly dabbing it on the areas where we put glue. This is going to be our gray scale and I add more colors on the areas where I want to put more depth onto it. And once I'm done with that, you can put more scales by using a black eyeliner pencil this will make the look more dramatic and i'm just dabbing my fingers on the drawing just to even out the color and make it look more natural Once we're done with that, let's now move on with the eyebrows. And since Tag is the symbol of House Baratheon, I'm going to mimic their horns by drawing um, small horns onto my eyebrows. And I'm just using a brown eyeliner. So you can be creative with this one. You can draw whatever you want or how you want the horns to appear. So I'm just drawing it to um, horns over here and adding more designs as we go on it's okay if it looks a little bit lighter because we're gonna darken it later and then I'm just using a brown gel eyeliner just to make it look darker and then I have here my primer and then let's go now with the eyeshadows I have here my copper like um, eyeshadow and then applied all over my eyelids and then I'm getting a darker shade for our transition and I'm applying it on my crease and concentrating on the outer V to make our eyes look deeper. And then using the same color, I'm applying it onto my lower lash line with a pencil brush. And then I have here my Eliana pigment and I apply it all over my lower eyelid and then applying it as well on the lower lash line. Then using the same gel eyeliner, I'm applying it onto my upper lash line. It's a soft brown color and then curl lashes and apply your favorite pair of falsies. Then I'm just lightly contouring my cheeks, jaw and nose line. Then for the lips, I'm just using my favorite Pure Garnet from the L'Oreal Matte Reds collection. This is a very nice shade and it's long lasting. Then once we're done with the face, let's now go with the hair. I'm just applying here my wig cap. This is going to be my first time using a wig in my entire existence. So I'm struggling with this and please bear with me. Baratheon have really nice long black hair. So yes, I'm using this beautiful wig and there you go. This is our look. And that's it for our tutorial. Don't forget to tag me just in case you recreate this look. I'm at Genzel HPB and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also do check at the other houses of Game of Thrones which are linked in the description box. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!